Okay, let's just get this out of the way right now. If you read the title to this video and you thought to yourself, how is there even a wrong way to add sound effects to DaVinci Resolve? You're kind of right. There is no wrong way. What this video is for, who this video is for, is for people who have been taking the sound effects you need for a video, bringing them into your media pool, and then dragging them into the timeline from there. You can absolutely do that. I just think there's a better way to do that. And no, I'm not talking about bringing all your sound effects into a power bin so they're there for every project that you ever need. What I'm talking about is a tool in DaVinci Resolve that will not only allow you to have access to all of your sound effects, but also about 500 other sound effects and allow you to audition those sound effects in the context of your actual video, which means along with any dialogue that might be in that part of the video, along with any music that you might have laid out, along with any other sound effects or Foley that you have laid out, you can actually audition your sound effects in context without having to permanently put them on the timeline. We're going to talk about all of that today, but first, if you're new to this channel, if this is your first time seeing one of my videos, hi, my name's Jay, I'm a mixing and mastering engineer, and on this channel, I teach the audio side of DaVinci Resolve. So if that's something that you are interested in learning more about, then stick around, watch the video, maybe give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy it, and that would just be super awesome. So what we're talking about today is the Fairlight Sound Library. This came out, I believe, during DaVinci Resolve 17. If it came out earlier, just let me know in the comments. But if I remember correctly, it came out with DaVinci Resolve 17. And here's what it looks like. If you're in the Fairlight page and you click on Sound Library up here, you'll get the Sound Library. If you're not seeing this, it's because it's an add-on for DaVinci Resolve that you need to install separately. And to do that is super easy. You just head over to Blackmagic Design Support page and search for Sound Library. You'll find it. It's a very old download, don't worry. But you'll download that. You'll have to fill out a form and accept a license agreement because it does come with sound effects that you need the license in order to use. And then you download and install. And when you install it, it's going to ask you where you want to save it on your computer. Take special note of where you save your sound library. It's going to become very, very important in just a little bit. But first, I want to bring your attention to the titles and graphics that I've been using in this video. They're from today's sponsor, Motion Array. Now, Motion Array started off as a marketplace for user-generated project templates and effects and transitions and titles. And it's grown from there to include things like stock music and stock footage and photos and AI voiceovers, just a whole bunch of stuff. It really is kind of like a one stop shop for all of your video editing needs. But I personally still use it for its original purpose. I go there looking for motion graphics and titles and all sorts of stuff like that all the time because I'm a busy dude. And while I know how to use Fusion, I'm a little bit rusty. It's not the thing that I use the most. And sometimes I just want to get a video done quickly. So I look at what other people made and download it. And everything there is super high quality, super easy to use. And I use them all the time. Like I said, all the titles, all of the motion graphics that you see in my videos, most of them are from Motion Array. And everything is super easy to find. They've got search filters. You can choose which version of what software you're using. You can choose whether you want it in horizontal or vertical format. You can just basically, you can dial in exactly what you want and you'll find what you need. So if you're like me and you're trying to get your videos done quickly, but you also want them to be engaging, so you want to add things like effects and templates and titles and motion graphics, then click the link in the description of this video. Check out Motion Array today and you won't be disappointed. Okay, remember when I said that it would be very important to keep track of where you save your sound library? Here's why. If you come into the folder where you saved your sound library, you're going to find your sound library application file, you're gonna find a database, and this is the important part, you're gonna find a folder called media files. 
open that up and you'll find a bunch of sound effects. These are uh, most of the ones in here are sound effects that came with the DaVinci Resolve Fairlight sound library. These just come with it for free. It's amazing, but you can take all of your sound effects that you've ever downloaded off of the internet and put them in this file so that they are always available for you in DaVinci Resolve. It's just a simple copy paste. Now I've had the sound library since 2020. So we're going on five years now. And I can't remember which of these are original to the sound library and which of these I added, but there's just a whole bunch of stuff in here and I don't have to worry about dragging it into the media pool. It's just there in the sound library. Let's take a look at how it works. First, let's set up our Fairlight page so that our sound library can be as useful as possible. First of all, we wanna make sure that we can see our video tracks in the Fairlight page. If you can't see your video tracks, all you have to do is come up here to this little icon with the check mark, click on that and make sure display video tracks is selected. Next thing you want to do is make sure that you set an in and an out point around the clip or clips that you want to add sound effects for. And then you wanna make sure looping is turned on. It's this little looped arrow right here. That way, when you are auditioning sounds, it will just play over the range or in and out range and go over to the beginning of the range when it hits the end and it'll just keep looping. So you can really dial in and even maybe start to mix your sound effects while you're auditioning them. And the last thing we want to do, of course, is open up the sound library. And this is what it's going to look like when you first open it up. It's going to say zero results. You're not going to see any sound, but you're going to have this little window up here. You're going to have a couple drop down boxes. You can search for what you want and you can filter by name or description or all fields. But this part is really, really important. If you come to this little icon here, the two lines with the downward arrow, click on that and it'll give you an additional little box here. And if you click that drop down box, it's this is basically where the sound library is going to search for your sound effects. Now, by default, it's going to say Fairlight Sound Library. This is a kind of a weird hinky thing with the sound library that I don't quite understand. But if you leave it on Fairlight Sound Library, it's only going to search the files that were original to the sound library. They're not going to pull up when you search. It's not going to pull up the results, including sound effects that you've added. If you want to do that, all you have to do is hit local database and then it will give you the option to choose a folder to search from. And if you go back into that original media files folder that we looked before, if you choose that file, at that point, you can see everything DaVinci Resolve gave you plus any sound effects that you added to that folder later. It really is kind of weird how it works like that, but that's how it works. And then if at any point you want to add another database, another folder for the sound library to search for sound effects, you just come up here to these three dots, click add library, and you can find your folder where other sound effects are stored and choose that and you'll be good to go. All right, let's search for some sound effects. The first thing we want to do is choose on our timeline which track we're going to be adding our sound effect to. We're gonna choose audio one. The first thing I like to do when I'm starting sound design is choose the Foley. I want to add sounds from the environment that are going to help kind of build the scene before I add any actual individual sound effects. But I know that I'm in a skate park here and I want to find some skate park Foley. So I'm just gonna search skate and you'll see I've got a few options here. I've got some, let's see, glitch tones, Switzerland, skate park, mad robot sound lab, urban Mexico. That's probably some more skate park sounds, but what I can do is select and play it in here. And that's actually not bad. I think I want to add that, but let me double check. So I'm going to hit audition and it's going to automatically add this Foley to my timeline, wherever my playhead is. And then I can click over to my timeline and play. All 
Okay, not bad. Let's go ahead and go home and we will hit confirm and that will keep this fully on our timeline and we can move on to audio two, which is another stereo track. I'm gonna add some additional Foley here. And let's see here, what is this? Uh, what do I wanna try out? Let's try the Switzerland skate park one. Let's, let's take a look at that. Okay, so this one's a little bit more specific. It's got some more skateboards going on. The skateboards are a little bit more prominent. That's all it is. It is a stereo file and there are multiple skateboards, so it's not going to be my main sound effect. It is going to be more of a background thing, but let's go ahead and click audition. We'll come in here and we'll listen to our two Foley clips together. Okay, nice, I like that. All right, let's move on. This is my mono track. This is where my main sound effect is going to go. Let's find another, let's see, skate on board. We can try this one. Let's go ahead and hit audition. Oh, you know what? I never confirmed my Foley over here. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll come back, audio three. I think we're doing this one here. And we'll hit audition and go ahead and play it all in context. All right, I like that. We're gonna go ahead and hit confirm. Trim these sound effects. Delete, and we're good to go. I love the sound library because one, it keeps me from having a super cluttered media pool. Only The only audio I really ever have in there is music and dialogue. That's it. All my sound effects come from the Fairlight sound library and I can audition them in context. I don't have to continuously drag and drop from the media pool. I can just click a couple buttons and I'm good to go. I can even rate my sound effects if I wanted. So I like that one. We're going to give it five stars. So that way, if we go back, uh, if I do a search later for skate, I'll see, oh, look at that one. I really liked that one. Let's audition that one first. And as I go, I can continuously refine my sound library and just make it a better and better experience. Now, if I really wanted to take this to the next level, I would go ahead and pan that last sound effect that we added so that the sound is actually following the motion of the skateboard. And there's actually an automatic way to do that in the Fairlight page as well. I made a video about it. You can check that out right here. And until next time, don't forget to go out and make stuff. Thanks for watching.